Yo, what's up, G-Squad? It's your boy, Cleet the Geek. I'm back with another banger. Yo, I got the Kobe built, you know what I mean, to go with the Kobe face right now. If you follow my channel, you see I just made some face creations. I did the young Kobe and I did old Kobe, all right? So this build is gonna be a combination of both of those Kobe's, all right? Um, so listen, I know y'all like these, these build videos, so I'm gonna dive right into it. I'm not gonna waste your time. So as you can see, shooting guard, of course, 6'6". Six, six. Kobe was like 198. He fluctuated between 198 to 201. Went with the seven foot wingspan so that it can make you better on the perimeter. When you stretch those arms out, it's gonna be harder for the defender to get around you. So um, I'm not sure if that's what his swing span was, but I did that for defensive purposes, all right? So let's dive into it. All right, so um, you got a uh, close shot, right? I went with 70 for close shot. Um, and, um, you know, that's 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 very reasonable. Uh, Kobe, you're not trying to get get down there and post move and, and do standing dunks, right? Or get standing layups and stuff like that, right? So that's decent. Went with the 88 layup package. Excuse me, went with the 88. Went with 88 um, uh, attributes for the Kobe Bryant layup package. It's important if you wanted to be play and feel like Kobe, you know, you want to have as many of his animations as possible, right? So normally I want to go this high on layup, but went with 88 to get that. Then you got driving dunk at 80. Now I've been seeing some um, other Kobe builds, seeing some gameplay, and man, people people are doing some crazy dunk animations with 75 um, um, dunk, um, dunk for their attributes here. So with 80, I seen this one guy, man. It's, it's some really great anim animations. Obviously, I pulled this build out in the test build, and man, you, it's it's good. It's very serviceable at 80. And remember. You know, this is kind of a mixture of the young Kobe, old Kobe. So if you want the younger Kobe, you'll probably go up to 86 or higher and then make some changes on the other attributes. But this is going to be that in between type Kobe, right? This is the like legacy Kobe, right? A little bit of young, a little bit of old. Um, no standing dunk. Of course, it's a shooting, shooting guard. Post moves. Now, this is where the bread and butter is, right? You want to have high post control because Kobe is known for that post game, right? That mid range post game. So this is going to give you all the animations that you can see you get um, post fade phenom you're going to get dream shake on gold that's massive because if you want to get uh you know the little uh, post fake move going like the big mans do you're able to stun your defender when you're able to ex execute this so having this on gold is going to be great having gold unpluckable is important because obviously if you're in that post move it's going to stop people from coming and ripping you easily and then you got uh, you know for those smaller shooting guards that you might find yourself on you can you can hit them with that drop step move you even go into a drop step fade move you know what i mean so there's a lot of little combinations you get with going with the post control at 85. mid range we're gonna go with 90 of course we wanted to go higher but i chose 90 because it's still very effective to get those mid the midi you know as you can see you get blinders on goal um you get uh Oh, hold on. Sorry. Let me go back. You get blinders on goal. You get dead eye on goal. Catch and shoot. Uh, space creator, which is amazing, right? Um, you know, especially when you're doing these Kobe moves. You you know, comeback kid on Hall of Fame. This is big because, you know, Kobe's long, known for that, you know, clutch shot, right? So this is a big badge for that use. If someone leave you open, they, they, they got pain, man. You ain't missing, right? Then you get the MIDI musicians, which I was trying to scroll down and show you. You get that gold midi position man that's efficient it allows you to hit those open mid, mid range shots but it also gives you a percentage towards your your post phenom and your post shots that you take all right so very important 90 is gets you in the door anything you get higher is always better but for this build to be as balanced as possible we went with 90 all right three pointer now i've seen some other guys make this build and they went down 75 three pointer because kobe wasn't known for his threes um but I found a way to get it up to 80, which makes it very serviceable, right? You're going to hit that open shot. Um, you might even, when you get your uh, takeover badge, you might even be able to do a fade, you know, three-pointer from, you know, from uh, behind the arch. So it, 80 is going to get you very, get your foot in the door and allow you to do some of those things, right? Went with default uh, free throws. You know, if you're playing park, you don't even care about free throws for, for rec players. This is uh, going to at least get you a, a, an efficient three uh, free throw shot. Passing accuracy, we went with 70. Now, if you've seen any, my, if you see my other build video, you know that I'm a passing big, right? So I normally go up in the 90s for my passing because that's just something I enjoy. But if you had to find a default passing and um, 
attribute, you would probably want to go with 70. 70 is going to at least get your foot in the door, allows you to allow you to pass uh, efficiently. Uh, you get bronze on most of the badges, so it's, it's you know it's not the best, but it's not worse, right? I think 69 would probably be the lowest you want to go, but uh, 70 is definitely efficient. Ball handling is 92. Now this one was huge, right? If you want to get a lot of the little spin. The spin animations, uh, get all the, the the great dribble packages to create the separation to get that that um that um to create to have that the shot creation badge pop up a lot. This is why you need to get the ball handling up in the 90s, right? So we went with 92. That gets us the gold blow by, which is crazy because Kobe gets you in that post and he could blow by you. The, this one down here is huge. The um, the triple start strike. That's you get him in that triple threat and you can just do so many things from you can you can dribble out of it. You can post fade out of it. You can you can blow by him and drive to the basket, right? With the 80 dunk, you're still taking off, right? So um 92 is where you want to be with that speed with ball we went as high as we could get uh, to balance everything out so we went 83 that like i said allows you to at least get a silver speed booster um but you get the gold blow by which is what you really want we didn't go with any interior defense like i said as a defender this makes me a little uncomfortable but you're making this build especially if you're playing with it in the wreck you're making this build to score right this is a scoring build this is a takeover build this isn't your lockdown defender version of Kobe, which just crazy that he was a defender. But I still gave you some decent um, perimeter defense. So as you can see here, you got 85 perimeter defense. You're getting silver across the board on all of the badges. So you're not going to just get dog, right? You're going to get a little bit of the bump, bump animations and you'll be able to stay with your um, defender at, at 80 speed. So you're not just going to get dog. Probably the only thing you're going to suffer from is you won't be able to get a chase down block. Um, and you know, only way you get a rebound is if you just, you just happen to be in that area, right? So you're more of the guy that once the the defense shoots the, excuse me, once the offense shoots the ball, and you're on defense, you're taking off down the court, right, to try to get a, a, a fast break score. So that's where that is. Now speed went with 80, just so it's serviceable, and you can get some other attributes, right? Normally you want to be as fast as you can, but you can't have it all. That's the way this builder is made. So 80 for speed, we went with 83 acceleration. That feels really good when you're dribbling with the ball. You can feel it when you first, get, like let's say if you're taking the ball in, you can feel that acceleration as you zoom down the court. Same thing happens when you get a fast break um, pass, you're able to burst towards the basket. So 83 acceleration is looking really nice. You went, we went with the 65 strength. Now the reason I did that is because I wanted to get this gold uh, and, uh, fearless finisher. As you see, you needed at least, uh, uh, oh, look at that 67 to get to the next one, but I didn't have anything else to get. But uh, if I would change this view, uh, man, let me not get off. Where's strength at? Uh, which one was I looking for? Uh, you're trying to get to, let me go back, let me go back. Fearless finisher, okay. Fearless finisher right up here, all right. Try not to get off. I want this video to be concise. All right, so you see, you need a 65 to get the gold, um, you know, fearless finisher, and of course, it's gonna be good. You know, if you're taking it to the rack, you want to be able to finish with contact. Okay, so let's go back to how we're looking, and then now vertical 75 that gets you the area wizard on gold. Um, you even get a bronze posterizer, it's just a basic so that you will be able to, uh, you know, uh, take off and get some good driving dunks, right. And then went with 95 stamina, so you can get that at least silver handles for days. Um, you get, you get. Um, I wanted to get 94 uh, feet, uh -huh. but you see, I would have needed to go at 88 perimeter defense. Now, if I were to tweak this, uh, hmm, I don't. I'm not sure. Maybe I would come down on the three pointer a little bit. Like if I wanted to, and if I wanted to really get the 94 feet badge, like I said, it's not a defender like that. But if let's say if I want to do that, I would probably go out like 76 on here. That's why you see I still got a lot of gold of everything. Like there's not a big jump from between from 80 and 76. Right? I still literally have all the same badges, right? So if I went to 76 with this, then I could possibly get perimeter defense. No, only one. Yeah. So it's not worth it in my opinion. I mean, oh you do get gold workhorse. Let's see, if I went gold workhorse, 
it's a preference. I like having at least an 83, so I would go, um, I would go 85, like I had here. Then I go back up to the 80. Oh man, what did I? Move? Okay, something else moved. That's the thing with this. This stuff moves around, and then you know you get thrown off. So let me see. Oh man, what did I just move? So I was at 80. See, I knew I should have left it low. Oh man, 85. Oh, there we go. There we go. That. What else moved? That. I think that's what it was. Okay. There we go. Yep. Okay. So anyway, made the video longer than it had to be. But listen, this is the Kobe build. Listen, it's a combination of um, old Kobe, young Kobe. You look at some of the other built videos on, um, you know, some of the, these um, YouTubers or, or Twitch um, people. Uh, you'll see that they made a, their their build is going to be a variation of this, right? I tried to make the best combination of all of those. It's going to give you three point shooting, give you the post um, shooting, the mid range shooting, right? Um, not not heavy on D, but it's heavy on everything else. All right, so. Hope you liked the video, man. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I keep posting content like this, man. Y'all stay safe and most of y'all stay blessed. All right, I get with you.